Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and the warm weather didn't last long. It's snowing again. Yesterday I pulled the motor out of this CRV and this week my goal is to tear it all the way down and get it recycled. During the process of just demolishing this, I'm going to save some of the electronics to run the B-Series in my project. Uh, that I'll have when I have a bit more money and a bit warmer weather this spring. So this video will probably be a time lapse. I'll let you know how much money I'm making when I go on the first trip or if I take two today to the recycling yard. And I haven't decided, I haven't decided, but I'm wondering if I'm gonna chop the vehicle down this way or maybe just kind of try and do it in half and maybe put like half in the back at a time. It's gonna be pretty easy to start breaking down. I'll get doors off. I guess you'll see. Nothing left to do but to do it, so let's get started. All right, so I've got to disconnect some stuff down on that driver's side and get that axle out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and take that fender off on this side. And then I'll do the doors afterwards. I was wondering if I was just gonna do the doors on this side today, that way the side facing the street didn't look so bad. Uh, we'll see what happens. This Sawzall is already coming in handy and uh, got those doors off real quick. Those weigh quite a bit and I wasn't sure if they were gonna take the glass at the recycling yard or not. I figured I'd leave them in for now and we'll just go down there and ask them. Now I'm gonna get that Sawzall again and I'm just gonna try and cut the front of the vehicle off here. Fighting with it on this side for just a minute. I ended up going through a couple of layers on this side and didn't realize it at the time. That got loose though. Let's go over to the other side. I'm gonna save this windshield washer fluid. That's like a gallon. And this side goes a lot faster. Boom, front comes off and we're ready to go. All right. I've got the truck bed most of the way full now. Oh, I can hear, I took those earplugs out. When I used to work at the Nissan factory, we had to wear earplugs every day. And I forgot how dramatic that was. It really isolates you into your own world, but it's kind of cool sometimes, especially when you're working. I'll go ahead and strap this down in a minute. We'll take the first trip and I'm expecting it to be probably 40 bucks or so. Yeah, definitely cut too far back on this side and I went through an extra layer and the side was a lot faster. So I should have just measured that up better. That'll teach me my lesson for the rest of the vehicle though. I'm just gonna scout out real good before I cut and it shouldn't take too long to cut this vehicle down. Right here, I'm gonna take a break though with the cutting because I wanna make sure I save all the important electronics. I'm making a plastic pile on the other side of the truck that I'll take to the recycling center on a different trip because I'm not gonna make any money on plastic. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the seats. All right, so I'm just gonna take what I have right now to recycle and see how much it is. Because before I'm gonna cut anything else, I'm gonna pull all those electronics out. So that's probably gonna take the rest of today. And it's gonna be another day or two for cutting the rest of that down. Just depending on how much time I have the next time I'm out here. If they won't accept the glass, I'm gonna bring a little glass breaker tool. I'll just break them in the back of my truck bed and clean that up when I get back. But hopefully they just take them with the glass panes inside. That would be nice. And this will give me an idea of what they will and won't take for next time. And I'm gonna ask about the catalytic converter as well. Uh, because I've sold it to some other recycling centers before. See if they take it at this one or how much they'll pay. All right, so I just got here. I'm on the scale talking to the nice lady that works here. She told me that I can actually weigh my truck twice because I'm gonna take it up here and the transmission is actually worth a little bit more than the steel. So I'm dropping off the transmission. Then I'm gonna take it down here and weigh my truck, and then I'll take it and dump out the rest of this steel. It just takes a minute to get all this out of the back of the truck. I just wanted to be careful because there's a ton of sharp edges too. And this pile is huge. Last time I was here, this pile was almost empty, so I've never seen it this big. All we got to do is head down here and weigh the truck one more time and then we'll go inside and see how much money we got from this first trip. All right, 40 bucks. That's nice. They paid a little bit more for the transmission, they said. So I got 20 bucks out of each. 
And that's trip one. I think I've got about three or four of those trips. All right, so after staring at this for a couple of minutes, I just got back. I think what I'm gonna do next is take out the seats here in the carpet on the inside. And for the rest of the day, I'm gonna pull out the electronics. That way, tomorrow or the next day I work on this, I'm gonna cut like right here and take this as one trip. You need the title to take the firewall to the recycling yard. And then I think I'll actually be able to just take this and cut it in half this way and maybe take each side by itself. We'll see, that might be too heavy, but uh, maybe I can get it in the back of my truck with that engine crane. I'm gonna take my catalytic converter off today though before somebody notices that and takes it. I'm not gonna leave that sitting out in the open and uh, the rest of these electronics. Hopefully I just get the whole key to ignition Hopefully I get the key to all the sensors and the ECM out and we'll be good to go. I've got everything on the outside disconnected now. I just cut some ABS wires and stuff I'm not gonna be reusing. And I've got just wires going into the body now, uh, just ready to be disconnected on that side, I believe, and the connectors pulled out through the firewall. Then once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get this subframe out of here today. And I'll figure out a situation for putting this on some sort of blocks uh, as I break it down the rest of the way, cause I'm gonna save these nice tires. I'm definitely gonna use that cherry picker to pick this subframe up, that's gonna be heavy. That'll probably be another 30, 40 bucks. All right, so I've just put two tires on that other side. I used the spare tire from my Ranger, uh, so that's gonna be nice. That's nice, now I'm gonna drop this subframe and I'll use that engine hoist to put that in the back of my truck and uh, then we'll remove the ECU after that. So in order to get this subframe off, I have to undo some stuff on that passenger side as well. But first, I'm just gonna lay on this mat and use my impact to take off all of the bolts except for one on each side. And then I can take those last two off. But before I do that, I'm gonna do just a bit of cutting here. That steering wheel column was holding on and uh, after trying to cut stuff on the left side, I ended up just using a wrench and a pickle fork and I should have done that in the first place, but we got that off and that was the only thing holding it on. And this can go in the back of the truck. All right, I got that subframe in. Let's get this jack out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack the interior as well. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these seats out. I fought with this seat forever. It was super hard to get out. I finally got it out though. Kind of ripped it out, honestly. And I decided I'm gonna go ahead and take those other doors off as well. Speaking of uh, something I wasn't sure about in the past, I asked about the catalytic converter and they don't recycle that over there either. So I've got to find somebody that'll take that now. So here's a new look at the inside. I'm going to go ahead and take that chair out on the right side there, get that out and get a better view and get that middle tray thing out and the carpet up because now I've got to attack this dash and get underneath the dash because tons of wiring runs underneath there. So let's fight with this for a minute and uh, break my back pretty much. Uh, so this ECM is looped through weirdly. If you can tell right there. So to undo that, I think I'm just gonna cut a hole between these three holes in the firewall and make one big hole to just pull that out from. So I'm gonna have to cut carefully, but I think that should be fine to just go from one corner to the other carefully. All right, that took like one minute with the Sawzall. The Sawzall is the demolition machine. So I'm gonna pull that out real quick and... Uh... Whew, 
Whew, that's a heck of a wiring harness. But as you can see, that's disconnected. I've cut a lot of useless things like airbag wires and stuff, but I've left all of the important stuff. So that should be all I need to get the motor running and plenty more. I should only need about half of that to get the motor running in a new project. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching the Roadside Rescue YouTube. You can donate down below if you want to. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out this next video. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you on the next episode. That was a job well done.